Hello and welcome back to Missionary Engineering Class where today's video is a long history pipeline project. Today's video is going to be doing the cleaning. So let's take a look at that now. The upper wing is the item number seven. It is the quantity of one. It is made out of wood. Sits directly above the lower wing with the eight vertical supports. So let's start in onset now creating the upper wing. I'm going to show how to do that for you. Let's now take a look at the engineering drawing for the upper wing before we create it as a pretty solid model. The upper wing is 260 millimeters wide, it is 54 millimeters deep, and it is 2 millimeters thick. It has a machine hole, 6 millimeters in diameter, 7 millimeters deep. We have a 3 millimeter radius on the corner and a 2 millimeter radius on the corner of the wall. So let's get started in non shake back in the middle. I'm already in on shape. I've already set up my document. I'm going to click on the upper wing. First thing I need to do is change this to metric. So workspace units. We need to leave inch and go to millimeter. Fucking gram. Most importantly is that we're working in the length unit of millimeters. The first approach to the upper wing I'm going to do in the right view, in the right plane. On a center point rectangle, I'm going to work from zero. It's going to make my shape. The first dimension down here is asking us to fill in the depth dimension. That's going to be 54. And the thickness is 10 millimeters. So I can accept that sketch. If we want to extrude, we want to extrude symmetric, so we're working from zero. And the wing is 260. So it's just <coughs> Excuse me. So we have 130 millimeters on this side and 130 millimeters on that side. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the start of the upper wing working from the right plane. Now let's look at making the upper wing from the front plane. Our planes back on. <clears throat> this time we're going to work from I don't have the time to go. This time I'm going to work from the front. Right click on your sketch. Right click and you know it's a sketch plane. Again, we want to set a point right there to work from the new way. So in the front view, we are going to right click and sketch. Right click, you know what to stick on. We're going to be working from zero. Set up a rectangle. <clears throat> Just make my shape. It is 260 millimeters wide. It is, oh, let's change that. Let me change that to millimeters wide.
Most importantly, is that our unit in New Jersey. Now we can create a sketch and the button here. We're going to set up a rectangle, dot walking in inches, walking in millimeters, zero, and And this is this ladies and gentlemen, we're going to extrude symmetric that sketch. We are 54 millimeters. So we have 27 millimeters on this side and 27 millimeters on this side. So that is creating the upper one from the top down. Let's create the other one in the new copy. Okay, right click in the sketch. Right click in the normal sketch plane. Again, we want a center point rectangle. It's going to make our shape. It's 260 millimeters wide. And it's Accept that sketch. We're going to extrude symmetric that sketch and we're going to do 10 millimeters. That way we have 5 millimeters above the top plane and 5 millimeters below. I'm going to turn the planes off to make it easier to see. So there is our upper one. <coughs> the next thing that we need to do, looking at the engine and draw, so we have a 10 millimeter radius on the planes. We have a 3 millimeter radius on the top and the bottom of it. We'll do that before we put in the machine holes for the verticals. I'm going to go to fill it, the fill it command in 3D, and zero, and that's that edge, that corner, this corner. Go back to fill it. We want that to be three. That edge. Okay, now we need to come to the bottom side of the room. Right click on um, the sketch. Right click on the normal sketch plane. Just like in the lower wing, we'll put a dot and a dot. Put our drawing. So from the back edge down, we'll put things and then 24 millimeters show the center. And then from the right edge over, we are 55 and then 40. Same thing here for the lower one, so we're going to create the line of construction line. So 
that you can mirror the points. You want to mirror across this line. There's two points. We're going to mirror across this line. So <laughs> cool. We're going to go to our whole piece of command. We want a simple hole. We want a custom. The diameter can be six. And we get seven. And the bottom is flat. Sketch points to play a hole. And two. There are sketches turned on, we'll turn them off. And then a right click, we're going to rename. Tap lock. Right click, we're going to assign material. Like Walmart, we put that on the lower one. Edit the pants. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the completion of the epilogue for the backline. Now on to the vertical support, the last component, and the music.